Farmers across the country are finalizing their planting decisions, and the USDA wants to hear about it. RFD-TV's Sarah Mock has the latest from Washington. Well, USDA economists have been busy for the last several months putting together the information for the Agricultural Outlook Forum, but now they're turning to the next project, which is the March Planting Perspectives. We're lucky to be joined here by Hubert Hamer, the administrator of NAS, the National Agriculture Statistics Service. Hubert, what are we looking forward to uh, uh, when those March plantings come? What, what do farmers need to do to participate? Well, it's our first time to go out and look at spring planted crops uh, to see what the intentions are. This year, this is part of the prospective plantings report. So so we're going to be out there within the next two and a half uh, weeks uh, collecting data from uh, producers. We'll collect, again, the uh, acreage on intentions. We'll also collect information on grain stored on the farm as well. Now, this is a pretty important report, uh, both for markets and for farmers. Could you talk a little bit about why it's so important uh, for, for people to know this information? It's very important because it gives us a, a, an initial look at what the potential crop size is. It will allow uh, transportation hubs and those types of organizations to be prepared for when the crops are coming off. Uh, and again, we'll also take a look at the grain stored on the farms uh, at this time, and all of this information will be released on our March 29th report out of the Ag Statistics Board. Chief Economist at USDA predicted yesterday that corn and soybeans are going to come into parity in 2018. Uh, any other big trends that, that the folks at NAS are watching that they might uh, see come up in the, in the prospective plantings report? Well, we're going to actually go to the most knowledgeable uh, individuals, the producers, to find out what they intend to do at this time. Obviously, before we do the June acreage, we could have some changes, but based on the market conditions right now, they're going to tell us what their first intentions are uh, for the March intentions report. Any deadlines that farmers should know about, and, and, and could you mention again that date of when the, they can expect to see that report? The questionnaires are in the fields now. We'll be collecting data through about the uh, 9th or 10th of March. Uh, all of that data will be prepared. The analysts will do their work, and the report will be released. The pr prospective plantings and, and grain stocks reports will be released on March 29th. And is that just for the major commodity groups, or, or is everyone involved? Uh, we're going to take a sample of about 85,000 producers across the United States and uh, we'll go out to find out exactly what's happening on the ground. Well, you've heard it straight from the folks here at NAS. Make sure that you respond to your surveys uh, as they come out and look forward to that March Perspective Planting Report. Again, grateful to be joined by Hubert Hamer, the administrator of NAS. We'll have more updates for you throughout the week from here in Washington. Until then, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Sarah. To access the upcoming March Planting Intentions Report, just visit nas.usda.gov. And stay with us. Meteorologist Tim Ross is up next with your forecast. We'll be right back.